MyDreamsKeepMeAwake.com. Man, these are bougie masks here. These are Mandalay Bay we're at right there. Check out that location. Guys, I want to talk to you. What's going through your mind? If you're not listening to music, or even if you are, I think if you're like me, you have something that's generally going through your mind all the time. And I want to talk about handling negative thoughts as I sit here. And I always go to water to kind of just relax and like kind of peace and just really analyze and see what's inside my brain. Um, if it is like a pool. And check, check this out here. Check this pool out here. Check this pool is bare as can be because we're here because of covid right there so um what are you telling yourself whatever you're telling yourself i don't have time right i said that right today i was like man i don't have time to make a video right now it's beautiful to be nice and here i am making the video because and i i i just spent the other day i want to talk about so much uh i don't want to like brag but it's just like i feel like i don't belong here right uh, and I don't know if you ever feel like that sometimes. You just don't belong where you're at. Maybe maybe you're kind of like at the point where you're working a nine to five and you feel like, man, I don't belong here. I just need to be doing so much more. Or you're kind of gradually like getting challenged to grow outside your comfort zones and you feel like, oh, I'm not worthy of who I'm connecting with. I uh, was over at with uh, Dana White with uh, UFC. We're going to be doing something for the Make More Money podcast. But I kind of look, everybody looks at me and, and you know, I, I'm getting hit up like a lot and uh, I'm going to go see Tim Lane at the fitness. He has a gym going on. We're going to do a tour of that for over the YouTube channel channel. He was um, part of the 10 X pitch and everything. And so everything's running in my mind. I'm like, man, how do I get myself in these situations? Right. And then I'm, I'm telling myself like, ah, uh, you know, I see a girl and I think oh, she's probably just a gold digger. She knows that. Right. Cause uh, you know, I, I dated some girls that at the time, like Trent, you know, I give them my heart and everything. Everybody knows me. It's shaking here a little bit. Sorry about that. I'm shaking. I'm nervous, actually, because I think the lifeguard might say, I need to put my mask on. Whatever your mind's telling you, though, whatever you're telling yourself in it, it's really important to just start telling yourself stuff even before you believe it. Say, I create time and I create money. Those are the two things uh, that changed, changed it for me. Uh, it gave me confidence and courage that I can go do it. So look in the mirror, just like I'm looking at this camera, and start speaking that stuff out. Um, and then when you do get down, you know, uh, you got to know that people care. We're going to be doing a course, so check it out. A helicopter. Like, dude, anything's possible. Someone planned to get that helicopter out there, man. Someone planned that. That's crazy, man. There's, there are millions of things. They, they figured it out. Anything's possible, right? You got to look at the little things, man, in life and be grateful for where you're at and perspectives. So I'm, I know, like... I have negative thoughts in my head. I think, I, I, I don't know if it's all statistics are made up, right? But let's say 80, 85%, 89%, I think I heard that most of our self-talk is negative, right? So what do you do about it, right? What I wanna do is I wanna change the world with knowledge and putting better stuff in their mind and their, their thing. I was given with a gift to inspire others always. And I'm not waiting until I'm a multimillionaire or anything, I'm doing it right now. And whoever listening or whoever's not listening, that's fine, but like, but it's not even about like that. I don't even want to be. I just want to get the message to someone else so they can give it to somebody else. That's how we. That's how change happens, right? I get it to you, and you share this video with somebody else. Me and my brother. Um, I was actually talking to one of my uh, my coaches, and he's like, "What would you do, Jeff? You got your 77 million goal. What would you do?" And I said, "Well, I do this. I build a big music studio in the air, coffee shop music studio. Yeah, but what would you do then? And then what? Keep asking why. I said, "You know, I'd have a morning talk show radio host. It's one thing me and Jay talked about, and that's that's what I would do." And he said, "Well, why are you waiting for? Should do it now." What do you do in the morning? You know, you, you don't wake up. You put billionaires wake up at 4 a.m. You're always sleeping until like six, right? And I'm blaming, oh, it's COVID. It's getting me more tired, right? So I did it, man. And I woke up and it's been the best thing I've done in my life. Uh, it doesn't make any money. It will. We're gonna give away money on the show. The, the feature, it's, we're, we're looking for a name of it right now. It's uh, not, it's uh, the morning, uh, the, wake, the wake up wealthy, uh, or not, well, the wealthy wake up, I think is what we called it today. We had like changing, changing mornings. Um, so yeah, I just figured out like do do something man and figure out a way to do it Like it was hard. I had to download everything for how to do it, right? I have assistants right now who are helping me out with everything shout out to Angela and ice uh, Who's great and I almost feel like oh, I don't even need assistance man. Everybody needs an assistant We all forget so I forgot my keys actually let me show you my keys on me See so that was another thing people are like man Jeff you know, The biggest thing was uh, Bradley was like man someone asked me if I knew Jeff the entrepreneur And he's like how are you being everywhere man? I'm everywhere like just so you know, the, the lifeguard and everybody, they all got my, my card. They know who I am. So, like, be around people, get known, right? If you have a mission, once you figure out your passion, if you don't figure out passion, you can book a coaching session, money back guaranteed. I promise I will uh, do it. Listen, I need money right now. I just got a tenant that I almost lost the four unit. It's bad. It was kind of going out. I, I really don't like to put that stuff out there because people tell me don't buy it. And, uh, and even, even Bradley was like, dude, let me know, man. I'll go partner with you on that so we don't lose it, you know? And 
it's good that you're around people who like kind of believe in you you know that's what life's about like and it, there i'm gonna tell one more story that really got me negative a lady on a plane i do the morning talk show right right in there i told it on the show you can link back but it on the talk show on our talk show uh we weren't able to go and i was missing i was 5 a.m i'm trying to catch a flight flight play a lot of planes over here and uh, I do the morning wake up show. It's 606, welcome Josh, Jeff J here to make your day, right? It's 5 a.m. in the thing. There's two other ladies, I woke them up. I'm talking about waking up being wealthy. You know, a lot of people are insecure about their money and I, trust me, me, me as well, I think that's normal. Even, even billionaires are like, I should do more because you know your potential, right? And that's how we measure potential and what you can do more with money. Um, so maybe that was, I, I don't know, I, they probably had some pain in their life, but they did not care. I got on the plane and I'm sitting next to them and they go, oh my God, not this guy, you're not gonna go live all the time. And I and I, I went, before I even say yes, the other girl chimes in, she's like, yeah, oh my God, that was so annoying, you have such an annoying voice. You're not, and they just start just hit, hit arrows, right? And started getting my negative, oh, oh, maybe I have an annoying voice, you know, I'm not doing that. And I started like hearing it. And then I remembered everything that I got with coaching and everything to be confident about the mission. And I spoke up and I told him about the mission. I'm gonna build the biggest coffee shop music studio called Kokomo Jays. And we're gonna help change people's lives. And for the people who want, can tune in and listen to it. We're gonna have the same morning show that we have. It's gonna be broadcast from there. I explained it all to her. I explained her why, my brother, and, and what made me do this and why I'm so passionate about it. And she goes, why don't you have it open now? You should go open it now. And I was like, all right, now in life, we're gonna be around people like that, right? It's gonna happen, man. Most of the most of the people aren't growth-minded, like whoever's listening to this. And if you're just stumbling across this, uh, my dream is to build the biggest coffee shop ever, have some palm trees, Kokomo Jays, and I'm my older brother's dream, and do that one day. As a hedge on my success, now I'm doing exactly what I need to do. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't wanna be stuck behind a coffee counter, really. I'd rather be annoying the lady so she wakes up. You know what I mean? And uh, that at least she got my attention, and now, and now people will come around exactly uh, to it or, or they'll figure it out man because she's just hurting people are hurting so in life when people are yelling stuff at you and you're starting to get negative I asked the stewardess hey can I move can I move and she put me by the uh, by the whatchamacallit the exit door so then I was like man this is crazy now I gotta save her if we go by the exit door I'm gonna have to actually save this lady out and I'm like this is crazy where your mind goes so your mind, I'm like man I hope the plane goes down so I could save her so she feels better and she apologizes to me the ego thing, man. It doesn't matter what she says, right? And then the plane didn't go down. I'm here, but on the tray table, it got I got beat in here. Uh, I got knocked in because the tray table was different. I put my head down and snapped snapped in my head. So when that happened, I was just like, I started hating him. And this thing's shaking, man. Yeah, I'm nervous because I'm I'm about to do some big things today. And you know, it's okay to get nervous too. That's why my mind's going like where it's at. Um, but so then. The three things you can tell yourself is you want to say whatever you want, man. I, I, I say all the time, I'm going to build the biggest coffee. I'm going to do it. Like I started to believe it, right? Like I see it no matter what anybody believes out here, I believe it, right? And then people start believing me and it makes me nervous because like, man, I better do it, right? So we're going to be coming out with a course um, and I'm going to do all the stuff I do with my coaches at a course in a community called the Changing Lives Entourage. I'm here partnering with Andy Alday, great kid, kind of like a mini Les Brown, if you know Les Brown, just that impactful. I don't think he even knows how great he is now either, right? He's just, so I, I want the world to know about him. Uh, he does a little summit that we'd be here for. My battery is dead after starting in the overnight Mazda. I removed it and charged it and installed the temp battery. All right, that's my car. My car's breaking up. That's what I mean, man. I'm, I'm authentic. I, 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 just, I didn't even want to wear a nice shirt because it's like, I look that. I don't have any nice watches on. I have the goal 20 million families in 10 years for my brother's uh, business, Changing Lives Financial. And uh, I have the Pitch Freak, dude. He's, he asked me to speak at his event here. I don't know if we're going to do it. We're flying back. Pitch Freak. He's the guy who taught me a lot when I was negative. I didn't know how to pitch the software. The, I have equity in a mod. I'm not giving up on it, all right? So I just want to come to you today and say, hey, it's normal. It's normal to think bad stuff. It's normal to have that. That's that's okay. You got to start telling yourself. And before you tell yourself, because sometimes you can't do it, start putting something else in your ear. Put me in your ear. Put uh, Grant Cardone, uh, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, anybody, man. And then once you become that and you become confident, then go put it out there. It's your mission to do that. If you, if you have the ability to speak, I don't care if you have a southern accent like my boy Troy uh, of Gross Stack Drive or Ken Hen Jocelyn down there or whatever, people are going to hear people for different reasons, right? Where you get good is when you listen to people you don't like, which is what I'm learning. So that's what I'm learning, man. All right. So, hey, we're always learning. Thank you. God bless. Uh, be great. Nothing else pays. 
like my buddy says, uh, we're going to be in Miami next. I'll probably do a video by some palm trees then. All right. Click like, subscribe, and please share this message if you are. Post your negative thoughts in there, and I'll give you a way to do it. I'm also going to give you in a future video on a way to actually, when you're down, uh, an activity to do that'll help it. I'm working on it now. So, all right. Be great. Another plane.